It's back with another reaction video. It's been a while. And today, like, we're reacting to. Sorry. My miracle. So, let's start with the video, y'all. Before we start the video, I just want to give a huge shout out and thanks to Crunchyroll for sponsoring this video. Head on over to crunchyroll.com slash tjtunes, link in the description, for a free 14 day trial of premium membership. If you have been following me for a while, it's no secret that I own a lovely pet cat. But for all you newcomers out there, let me formally introduce you to my one and only adorable feline companion, Gigi. Isn't he the cutest little furball? Gigi here is really special to me, and I'm sure other cat owners have their own reasons as to why their cats are special to them. For me, it's because my El Gato has a very interesting backstory of how he became a part of our family. You see, I didn't adopt Gigi by regular conventional means like going to a pet store. No, 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 no. My dad would never allow such a thing. Gigi is a stray cat, and I met him around seven years ago when he was just a tiny little kitten. It was a hot summer afternoon, and I was just walking home from school when suddenly I heard a It kind of sounded like a cry for help, so being the kind and curious fellow that I was, I looked around to see where it was coming from, and lo and behold, behind a patch of grass, I saw the ugliest piece of living organism that mankind has ever seen. <laughs> Oh I'm just kidding. It was a tiny. <laughs> what? Why are you comparing it to him? Little kitten. Still ugly though, because it kind of looked like a furry wet piece of clumped up toilet paper that never made it to the trash bin, but with legs. How dare you say that to your own kitten? Because A, it could kitten. barely move, and B, its eyes looked like this, which sort of meant that he couldn't see. So I just stared at it, and waited, and just kept staring, hoping that its mom would come find it sooner or later. Almost 30 minutes had gone by, and no one came. It was just me, the kitten, and the sound of its helpless cry for help. And honestly, I didn't know what to do. Hey, uh, why don't you just take it home? What? No, 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 I, I, I can't do that. My dad will kill me. Dude, just take it home. No one's coming for it. Wait a minute, aren't you supposed to tell me the opposite of what he's saying? Come on, man, look at it. You can't possibly be thinking of leaving this poor, abandoned, vulnerable little kitten out in the open like this to starve and potentially die. What, what, what are you, Satan? What? I never thought I'd say this, but... Satan me was right. This thing was gonna die if I left it unattended. But I'd also. Oh my god! What are you, Satan? Bro! You're literally Satan! You're literally Satan! Bro, that's so weird. Take a beating if my dad found out I snuck a stray kitten into the house, so I did the only sensible thing possible. I left it there and went home. TJ, how could you? And came back five minutes later with some newspaper to carefully wrap the kitten around and take it home. Yeah, it was literally three minutes away from the house. Thankfully, no one was home, so I was able to sneak him in without the risk of getting caught. Then here I was in the room with the kitten cozily pursed inside my shirt, and funny enough, it wasn't crying anymore. In fact, it just fell asleep in my arms, which was kinda cute. Wow. Really cute. Anyway, I already knew that there was no way my dad would allow me to keep a pet kitten at home, let alone a stray, so I decided to keep it until it could grow big enough to at least fend for itself and maybe even look for its mom. Now, about two weeks passed by, and keeping the kitten hidden from my dad wasn't as difficult as I thought. Since my dad was a busy man who almost never got out of his room to check up on me, all I had to do was keep the little guy inside the bathroom next to my room before God. leaving for school to muffle its obnoxious meows and keep the noise from reaching my dad's room. And it worked. He never found out. However, my mom and my brothers did. But after staring into its adorable kitty eyes, they were pretty much sold on keeping it. 
My absolute favorite thing about this little furball was that it only listened to me and followed me everywhere around the house like my very own Pokemon. It would follow me down the stairs, on the bed, under the dining table, to the bathroom, which wasn't weird at all. I guess it's to be expected yeah, since because I basically they erased him, but it's still you know, you too, so really it's kind of... I took him out of hiding every chance I got when my dad wasn't around, but most of the time I'd keep him inside the bathroom for good measures. I knew I wasn't supposed to give it a name, since I wasn't gonna adopt it for good, but I couldn't help it. So I named it after my favorite soccer hero, the Superman goalkeeper himself, Gianluigi Buffon, or Gigi for short. Side tangent, the word Gigi actually means dirty or filthy object in Korean, and I didn't know this until my mom told me. So I thought about changing the name afterwards, but then I thought, yeah, it's not so far from the truth anyway. Then just like that, two more weeks flew by and as you can probably guess, I gave up on the thought of letting Gigi go. It was impossible, I grew too attached to him and we were practically inseparable. Instead, I decided I'd muster up enough courage to ask my dad if I could keep him. And since finals were coming up, I thought maybe having a few A's under my belt would set my dad in a good enough mood to increase my chances. The plan was set and I was just burning with motivation. But then, one day, the thing I feared most happened. My dad... My dad found out about Gigi and... He got rid of him. What? Why did you do that to me? That is my only baby. Why? Why did you have to get rid of him? To be continued, guys. If you want to watch part two, I'm gonna react to that. And see you guys later. Thanks.